One of the most promising developments in hemophilia treatment has been self-infusion, training a patient to inject their clotting factor themselves. Self-infusion has set patients free to do things they could never do before. One of the coolest things that I do that brings the most emotion to me is um, teaching a young hemophiliac how to self-infuse his medicine because um, that is, 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 is kind of like breaking the chains. When you, when you have to bring your mom around or you have to be near a hospital every time you need your medicine, you, you, you're changed. You're, you, know, you don't have the freedom to do sleepovers, to go hang out at your cousin's house or go on vacations with anybody but your mom or a nurse or make sure there's a, a hospital close around. And they are, there are options now. They can go on sleepovers. They can do all these wonderful things. And it's just, it's just a, a very powerful, powerful moment. The advantage of comprehensive care is we taught the children and their families to infuse at home. So instead of taking the time to go to the hospital and get the infusion with the protein, they could do it at home so they could treat within five or 10 minutes. That saved a tremendous amount of morbidity. Uh, saved a lot of children brain damage, intestinal damage, internal damage. I have kits when I go on the road too, which is really cool. So, you know, I, I can bring my factor with me. Before, back in the 80s, you know, I couldn't go on long trips. I couldn't go whitewater rafting or camping or hiking because my factor had to be refrigerated. There's factor out now, the synthetic factor, that doesn't come from any human blood components that does not have to be refrigerated, which is just is so cool. A major trend in managing hemophilia these days is prophylactic treatment, infusing patients with clotting factor in a preemptive strike before bleeding ever starts. Dr. Diane Nugent is Director of Hematology at Children's Hospital of Orange County. If we treat prophylactically, in other words, if we replace the factor that's missing and not wait until a child bleeds, that they grow up to have normal joints. And if you can get to adulthood when we all slow down and we're not so active, usually then that means much less disease as, the, as an adult. The next big step that occurred in the 1990s was prevention. If a bleed is bad and a bleed causes damage, why don't we just prevent it? And the way to prevent it is to infuse factor often enough that the protein level never goes below 2%. So we set up programs where the children were infused every other day. And those children have no spontaneous bleeding at all. They have no joint damage, no internal organ damage, no brain damage. And by the time they get to be adults, they're essentially normal adults with normal functioning joints. And that's now the current treatment. 